it good in the Gold Battle League, in the Great League? Well, I do not know. But we will find that out together. Alright, so hi! Hi to all of you guys! So yes, indeed today we'll be using Lugia with the improved Fast Move Dragon Tail and Sky Attack and Future Sight. Yeah, I do not have the one with Arrow Blast because uh, it's not easy to get the one with the Arrow Blast because you need, just need to use the Elite Charge DM to get it, which is not what I want to do. Yeah, for the Great League. Anyway, let's go ahead into Go Battle League right now to go and look for a battle over here. Let's go ahead and do that. And this is the team I'll be running with. Swampert with Lugia with Sable Eye. So my Swampert is actually running Hydro Cannon and Sludge Wave and not Earthquake. I was contemplating to actually change it to Earthquake. Oh, MTF Beast. Is that Mr. Beast? No, it's not Mr. Beast. <laughs> Mr. Beast doesn't play Pokemon Go. <laughs> or maybe does he? Oh, he did last time though. He did. Mr. Beast played Pokemon Go when it first came out. And then uh, I think he, you know, went on to do other videos. Definitely. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna shoot this. <laughs> I'm scared. For some reason, I'm just scared. Is it Brave Bird? Okay, no. Why was I afraid of that? Okay, never mind. Let's go ahead to uh, use our first Hydro Cannon. And yes, I do not have a Shadow Swampert because I did not evolve it. During the December calm day, I will have to evolve it. I know, to get Hydro Cannon. Okay, let's go ahead to fire off our next Hydro Cannon. Let's see if he's gonna shoot this or not. Okay, 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 okay. I might double shoot my Swampert though. Yeah, Lugia is actually a very tanky Pokemon, but may not be as tanky here in the Great League. Okay, so we got another Hydro Cannon in. That is very good. This will take out the Skamori if it goes unshielded. Okay, let's see if he's gonna shoot this or not. Okay, he decided to shoot that. That's totally fine. We are also gonna shoot ourselves up. Okay, and then uh, I do not know if he's gonna switch or do whatever things, man. Sky attack coming in, that's totally fine. Okay, and then uh, we're gonna have to fire off our hydro cannon right now. Okay, hydro, hydro cannon, hydro cannon. Alright, so Lugia can actually handle the grass typing Pokemon that is. that Swampert is weak to. Okay, we got Talon Flame. Um, okay, sure. Uh, why are you bringing in Talon Flame against my Swampert? I am utterly confused. Yeah, I am utterly confused. Is it because you don't have anything to um, counter my swamp? But if that is the case, then I'll bring in Lugia right now to two Dragon Tails the fl ten. Yeah, you should have brought in Vigoroth, man. Uh, I mean, right now you are not gonna do anything to me, man. Yeah, you're not gonna do anything to me. Let's go ahead to use Future Sight. Though, I mean, it's neutral damage because uh, Vigoroth is a normal typing Pokemon and not a fighting type Pokemon. Despite having the move counter, it's just gonna spam Body Slams all the way, but he does not know that I have a Sable Eye at the back, which is gonna fare way better than him doing uh, counters on me. Okay, let's go ahead to do, use Future Sight. I actually don't really know which is a more energy efficient uh, charge move to use, but I guess uh, that was job done. For the Lugia and we won one so far. Hopefully we can win another maybe a four more to score five nil with this team. It'd be quite amazing. I mean Swampert in general is really a very strong Pokemon to you. So if I win all the battles, I would say that it is the help of the Swampert and of course the Sable Eye and not too much of the Lugia. I'm so sorry Lugia. I know it is supposed to be your video, but yeah, I I, I have to say the truth out though. Okay, anyway, we got Azumari in the house. That's an okay start for us since we have Sludge Wave, which is a good thing for us. So I do not know if I want to bait though. I, okay, he decided to uh, switch into Cresselia. I am going to fire off one Hydro Cannon first to pressure a shield. Either that or to take a shield. But I'm going to switch into Saber Eye immediately right now. Okay, let's uh, go ahead to uh, do our Foul Place, man. Foul Place all the way. But we have to be wary of the Moon Blast. Don't forget that. To be, be really really wary of the moon blast so because my sable eye has returned it still can in a way take on the azumari if he were to bring it in i uh, be, uh, he, ha, he, uh, i think it's moon blast yeah okay luckily i shielded that we're gonna take out the cruselia with two shadow claws okay let's see what's he gonna bring back is he gonna bring back the azumario hello azumarian no Okay, it is Azumario. That isn't a good thing for us. Alright, go ahead. Uh, you, I, I need to save the shield already for my Swampert, so I can't afford to use that anymore. Okay, no worries. 
Okay, maybe we have to worry a bit. Okay, we got return coming in though, right about now. Okay, and we can actually switch into our Swampert after this return goes through, provided it goes unshielded. Okay, switching into Swampert right now. I could actually fire off... Okay, he's bringing in that uh, Altaria. I mean, it's good for my Lugia to handle it. Yeah, but I mean... Uh, wow, this is tricky, man. This is really tricky. Extremely tricky. Okay, let's bait with the Hydro Cannon. I think he's gonna shield. He has two shields left and if this is Sludge Wave, he would actually uh, almost get KO already. Okay, good. We baited that. Though we really didn't need to do that. Uh, okay. I've really let it gone through. I'm gonna bring in Lugia now and uh, Dragon Tail down the um, Altaria. Charge up as much energy as we can. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna farm down the Altaria. Uh, I, I need to save a shield for the Ice Beam from the Azumari just in case it has Ice Beam. I mean, the Azumari clearly it has play rough. Okay, he's bringing in the Azumari now. I can. Yep, 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 yep. Like, as I was saying. As I was saying, we have two sky attacks coming in. Okay, it's Play Rough. Play Rough will have done a lot of damage also still because Lugia isn't that tanky here in the Great League, man. I can tell you guys that it's quite squishy. In fact, quite is an understatement. It's very squishy. Okay, we got another sky attack coming in. This should be enough to take out the Azumario. I mean, it's coming from a non like really really high attack pokemon but still sky attack its damage is pretty high we can actually just dragon tail down the altaria whoa we actually scored a second win with this team lugia actually did a lot of work i must say that battle actually uh, lugia was the one that did the most amount of work of course uh, not forgetting my swampert who did like i guess the second most amount of work saber eye basically just relaxed and got ko by the play rough did i suffer the play rough or suffer the moon blast? the play rough all right so anyway, we got matched up against Tutu. Okay, and uh, we got Venusaur. That is very bad for us. All right, we have to pull a switch into Lugia right now. Let's see what she gonna do. She's still gonna stay. Okay, bring in Bastiodon. That is very bad for us. Extremely, extremely, extremely bad. Okay, we're gonna go with Future Side. She's probably just gonna farm me down right now. Yeah, all my moves including the Dragon Tail, are resisted by Bastiodon. Oh my god, look at that pathetic damage. That was so sad to see, man. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on, come on. Oh my god. Yeah, she's just farming me down. That's the right choice, though. That's the right choice. Okay, never mind. We got another Future Sight coming in right now. Not good, guys. Not good, guys. I might have to farm, farm down the Bastiodon. Oh my god. This is very bad. Okay, I'm gonna farm down the Bastiodon, not gonna shield at all. Whew, okay. It's quite worrying, guys. Very, very worrying. Okay, she's gonna probably switch into Venusaur soon, right? Are you not gonna switch into Venusaur? Okay, fine. If you're not gonna switch into Venusaur, then I am also not going to switch into my Sable Eye. Uh, okay, she's not switching. Okay, all good, all good, hopefully. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go with Sludge Wave now. Okay, and then switching into Saber Eye after this. I hope his last Pokemon is very weak to Saber Eye. Okay, very good, we did, we did, we, we did good, we did good. We did good with that. Okay, it is Galarin Stunfisk. We might have a big problem. Okay, we have a big problem. We have a really big problem. I mean, I'm ahead on energy just by a bit. Okay, she's gonna shoot that. It's rock slide though, it's rock slide. <sighs> I'm gonna let the first rock slide go through. Okay, and start shielding the next few moves already. Okay, okay. Okay, let's go ahead to fire off our foul play. I might have to catch a rock slide with uh, with my Swampert though. Yeah, I might have to catch a rock slide with my Swampert. Okay, we're gonna have to shield this. Okay. Okay, this is very, very nerve wracking right now. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Ah, oh, okay, now my no worries. All good. We still got another shield. We're good. Okay. Ah, crap, I wanted to switch. I saw a switch. I wanted to switch into my Swampert to like take on the Venusaur already. Okay, I'm screwed. I, you, yeah, you can vine with me down already. Yeah. That after that, I could bring in Saber Eye to farm down the Venusaur. I would have enough energy to do double foul plays, which would be enough to actually take down the uh, Galarian Stun Fist. But wow, I did one Shadow Claw by accident. I actually did tap on my Switch or so, but the Frenzy Plant came through already, so I'm screwed. Anyway, we got Bastion on now. Very good start for us. Okay. Okay, we can Sludge with the Bastion on though. I mean, that's the best move to use against it, right? Uh, no. <laughs> Okay, so let's see now. We're gonna have to Hydro Cannon it. Um, I might switch into Saber Eye after this. I will, sorry. I will switch into Saber Eye now. Okay, obviously I do not want to bring in my Lugia. Lugia is gonna be very weak against uh, the Saber Eye. Uh, I'm going to let this go through, save my shield for probably my Swampert. Yeah, I foresee that his last Pokemon is also weak to... Um, my, my swamp bird. Oh my god. Alright, sure. I'm gonna have to shield once. Uh, otherwise, I lose switch advantage. I need switch advantage because his Bastiodon cannot face my Lugia. That's for sure. Alright, so I need to use one shield. Probably gonna bring in Bastiodon. Right? Bastiodon? 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 Yep, we're gonna bring in your Bastiodon. I'm gonna then foul play you. Obviously, I'm not gonna use return because that's double resisted. Okay, so I probably can do double foul plays. Okay, I'm not going to switch into my Swampert. I'm going to let him uh, take out my uh, Saber Eye after I do one more foul play first. Uh, two more Smackdowns for my Saber Eye to go down, but I probably can do uh, three more Shadow Claws. Okay, let's see that. Okay, yep. Okay. Yep, okay, three. We are done. We, we are then going to have to bring in Swampert right now. Okay, it's going to bring in uh, Medicham. I am going to bring in my Lugia. Okay, I could have actually fired off a... I could have actually fired off a Hydro Cannon on the Medicham first, but it's totally fine. I'm not gonna shield. Ice Punch, go ahead. Okay. Sky Attack, please, go ahead. Go through. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna go through? I, I don't know, I mean, he could actually use the Bastion to farm me down, right? Okay, nope, he did not, did not sh uh, let this go through. I might have to shield one Ice Punch, though. I might. We will have to see how. Okay, I'm gonna let this go through again. Okay, seems pretty okay for us. Seems pretty okay for us. If I can get the if I can get the sky attack in without another ice punch coming in. Okay, good. I, I can save the shield for the swampert already. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, decided to double shoot that. That's totally fine. Okay, go ahead. Yep, do what you need to do. Switching into Bastidon. I'm gonna have to switch into my Swampert now. Catch his Bastidon. I'm not gonna shield this. Saving the shield against the Medicham just in case it does a psychic on my Swampert. Okay, with the amount of health that I'm left on my Swampert, it's gonna get KO by a psychic. Alright. So, okay, we got Hydro Cannon in. This should be enough to take out the Bastidon, and we are basically just gonna Hydro Cannon the Medicham one more time after we shield it up. Okay, we should be fine, right? Are we fine? Are we good? Are we, are we, are we good? Ice Punch, I know. Can he double Ice Punch me though? Oh my god, yes, he can. Oh my god, not good, man. Can, oh, I don't think we can survive, man. No good. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. No 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 I'm just kidding. Alright, we got Sky Attack coming in. Alright, so Sky Attack will take out the Medicham. Awesome. Whew, that was good. That was a close one. Look at the health of my Lugia! My god, one dot left. I think it's maybe left with 2.5 HP. obviously there's no 0.5, so it's probably left with 2 or 3 HP like Seriously, that was insanely close, but we did it. Okay, we had a good lead though, but um, the opponent managed to like come back by a bit. So we got matched up against Shock Dog three two five. I I please don't shock me, man. Oh, it's Medicham. It's very shocking, man. Okay, so let's see now. 
All my Pokemon are actually okay against the um, good against Medicham actually. Uh, Swampert also fares pretty well against it. Okay, so um, we are okay against Medicham, but we need to know what's his other two Pokemon. That's more worrying. Okay, we got one Hydro Cannon in. Hmm. I'm gonna let this go through. Even if it's Psychic, it's okay. Ice Punch, okay. Bringing in Licky Tongue. That is very, very, very interesting. Okay, so I'm gonna just stay. Because as I said, my Medi the Medichan can be handled by my Sable Eye and also the uh, Lugia, so that's totally fine. He's probably gonna body slam me soon. Okay, nope, he did not body slam me. Okay. Uh, I do not know if I want to bring in Lugia or not, man, because, uh, yeah, it's kind of worrying. Um, I'm thinking if I should shield, actually. Okay, this Power Whip, I'm, I'm shielding it. Okay, I got a Hydro Cannon ready. I'm going to switch into my Lugia to farm energy now. Okay, do whatever you want. Body Slam, Power Whip, Power Whip, Body Slam, do whatever you want. I could have actually brought in a uh, Sable Eye instead, but Sable Eye does not very effective damage to um, Licky Tang immune damage, so I want to take it down quickly or so. Though I'm suffering super effective from the um, leaks, but it's totally fine. We got Sky Attack coming in already. He's probably gonna use Ice Punch on my Lugia, right? Okay. I mean, yes. Who you who who does not use Ice Punch on Lugia? Like seriously, I mean, when you're using Medicham, obviously you won't use Ice Punch. Okay, I'm gonna let this go through. Because um, I still have Sable Eye. Okay, it's totally fine. We survived that also, by the way. Forgot to tell you guys that. But it's okay, we got another Sky Attack coming in. His Ice Punch is just, I think, one or two counters away. I did not really count the counters. Sorry for not counting. Okay, wow, we decided to shield that. That is very interesting, man. That is very interesting. Very interesting. Uh, I'm not gonna shield this. Mm hmm I was thinking to shield to actually get to um, Sky Attack, but nah, I I, I, I think uh, Lugia has done enough for today already. We're just gonna bring in Sable Eye to just be as safe as we can. Uh, yeah, I am going to shield this. Okay. Do a Foul Play. When the Medicham comes in, switch into Swampert, do a Hydro Cannon, and we should be good. Okay, so Foul Play right now. It should be enough to take out the uh, Venusaur. Okay, it should be enough. Oh my god, just one more. Okay, good. Yeah, we did that. Uh, what? What, Nani? Oh my god! <laughs> the Vine Whip actually managed to take out my sword, but I thought I could survive the Vine Whip. I wanted to just mud shot one more time onto the Venusaur, and I thought I could survive the, the Vine Whip, but clearly, it was not possible. But yeah, we managed to score another win. We scored 4 out of 5 wins. That's really good, I must say, using this team. Very interesting team. I, I, I do not know it was just luck or what, but interesting enough to actually score 4 out of 5 wins with uh, Lugia. Um, I guess the, that one loss uh, was quite hard to prevent, all right, if I remember correctly. Anyway, we caught a Sable Eye, which we will get more Candy XL for that. And yes, my ratings actually went up by a bit. <laughs> I've been going up and down, up and down, up and down because I've been experimenting uh, different themes. But yeah, I might be hovering around 2000 to 2200 uh, range during this period. I am also going to go into the next battle right now. So I don't accidentally, accidentally use the basic rewards because uh, I'm trying to um, get more rewards right now. But I think that is all that I have to show to you guys, man, in terms of how Lugia actually performs in the Great Leagues. A pretty interesting uh, Pokemon to use, but uh, if you ask me if I will use it again in the future, high chance I wouldn't, but uh, we will see how things goes because uh, if this team that I came up with seems pretty alright, I might use it continuously, we will see how. Alright, so if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like on the video, be much appreciated, thank you very much, and I will see you guys in the next episode in the next video. Alright, Lugia, it's time to say goodbye. By the way, if you guys are wondering how did I get this Lugia under 1500 CP, you have to trade for it. Yeah, I traded this Lugia. And the IVs went down. Hence, the CP went down also to get it in the Great League. Alright, so goodbye, goodbye, good. Bye!